Zachrysia provisoria, also known as the Cuban brown snail, and this is an introduced species into southern Florida. Zachrysia provisoria, also known as the Cuban brown snail, was introduced into Florida in the early 1900s. It's now one of the most common snails found in southern Florida, and because of this, there seems to be a number of people keeping them as pets in the U.S. Zachrysia is classified as a pest species because it's not native and it will consume a wide variety of ornamental plants. If you did keep them in captivity, they would eat all the normal fruits and vegetables other garden snails eat. Zachrysia are mostly fossorial during the day, which means they'll spend a lot of time burrowed underneath the soil. And the best time to find them is after a heavy rain or during the nighttime. And I remember this is one of the very first snail species I saw in Florida a number of years ago. Um, I think it was about maybe a decade or so ago. And we pulled up to the hotel down in Fort Myers around 11 o'clock at night. And I saw 10 or 12 of these in the rocks around the bushes in front of the hotel. And I didn't catch any of them because we were still unloading all the suitcases and everything and it was getting late and I figured I'll wake up in the morning, I'll go down there and collect a bunch of them. And then when I got there, they were nowhere in sight. I looked all around, they weren't in the bushes anymore, they weren't on the wall, they weren't on the rocks, they weren't underneath the rocks. It just seemed like they vanished completely. And then later on, as I uh, read up on them, I found out that they will burrow underground during the day or when it's dry and hasn't been raining for a while. And because of that, I didn't see any of them again during the rest of the trip. So it's kind of important to collect these when you have a chance because you might not see them for a while if it stops raining and they choose to just hide out underneath the soil for a week or so. And the ones in this video were easily collected though, which was a surprise to me. They were all stuck about three feet up onto a concrete barrier during the middle of the day outside. Um, and there was a, the concrete area was kind of this little wall that was separating the condo pool area from the beach. Um, but that area on the other side of the concrete was frequently flooded with salt water from the ocean. It was like a little estuary kind of area. And so I think they chose to stay on that wall because if they tried burrowing down into the soil, it'd be way too salty. And as most people probably know, snails don't like salt. So that was an interesting find. Um, this last July when I found these Zachrysia.